No one has come in with an offer. We're going to have an EFL Cup game against Grimsby. Surely we should win like 10 0 with this squad. Surely. How did we lose? What? How does a team full of icons, 92, 94 overall players, lose to Grimsby? So in Ultimate Team, we have the ability to pack icons, buy icons, even uh, use them in Ultimate Team in your squads and stuff. But for offline players, people that aren't interested in Ultimate Team, you can't use icons in career mode or anywhere else in kickoff and stuff. But today, that all changes. If you have a PC, you can actually download a squad file that has all the icons. You can put them in your game and you can use them offline in career mode and kickoff. So we're going to take a look at what the icons do in career mode in FIFA 20. Now, if you enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up. It does always help the channel. And if you are new to the channel, you want to see mods, you want to see uh, career mode content, news, make sure you subscribe today so you don't miss anything. Before we get into it though, this was actually sent to me by my friend Pfeiffer Mods, who does all the mods and squad files for career mode. He does a fantastic job. If you want to support him, I'll leave his stuff in the description. So pretty much we have to load up the squad file. Now I've already set it up like in the settings of FIFA 20. Basically you just drag a file in and then you get it in your game that says icons prime. So basically this squad file gives you prime icons to use offline. Now all the icons are located in the free agent section. So you've got Pele, Maradona, Ronaldo, Zidane, Garincha, Maldini, Yashin, Cruyff, Ronaldinho, Eusebio, Mateus, George Best, Rude Hullet, all the guys in their prime. So there is page after page of icons ready to go. And we're going to dump all these guys into crew mode and see what happens. Now, while we wait for it to load up, if you do have a chance to play Fever 20 on the PC, I reckon it's going to be your best bet this year, especially if you're an offline player that likes career mode because the Realism mod comes out soon. You can install different mods throughout the year, squad files, and obviously that always makes a big difference compared to the console version. Also, the menus just load up so much, so much quicker as well, so it feels like it's not trying to load up five different FIFA games at the same time, so that helps as well. And uh, basically, we have um, some icons to take a look at now. So as you can see, they're already in the transfer like network settings. So let's go and search for some free agents and see what their values are. So these are just a few of the icons. I want to show you guys some of their wages and stuff. So Budgeal goes for about 136.5 million and he has a value of 310,000 to 490,000 as his wage, which is a boatload of money. But hey, Rashford, doesn't he make like 300k a week? I don't even know, but I guess it's not too bad when you look at it like that. Balak worth 107 million. You have to pay big wages for him too. Deco, 93 million. Who else do we have? Gerard goes for 107 million. This is dollars, not pounds, so just keep that in mind. Haji, 109 million there. Drogba, 111, and you have to pay about 430 a week. Del Piero, 126. Actually, he's pretty expensive. Ronaldinho, 151. Obviously, going to be one of the more uh, expensive icons to sign. Um, Ronaldo, one of the most expensive ones I've seen so far. 204 million. So we have reached deadline day, 31st of August. Let's see the top deals or the latest deals because they wouldn't be in the top deals because they're free transfer, so they wouldn't even be there. Let's take a look at the latest deals, see if anyone snapped anyone up. I can see Bonnie there from free agent. He went to Lecce. Is there any icons that have gone to any clubs? Doesn't really look like it, eh? You would expect like Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Baggio. You would, you would expect so many icons, but no one's actually signed them. Maybe because they can't afford the wage, yeah, that's why. But I did use Everton because I wanted to leave the other clubs alone because obviously they can afford these kinds of wages. Clubs like United, PSG, but obviously they felt like the wages are too high. So no one's actually got any of these guys. Like, unbelievable. Anyone would sign these guys up. Like, <laughs> look at that. He's still a free agent. Ronaldinho, one of the best players in the game. Even Brazilian Ronaldo hasn't found a club yet. Well, what I'm going to try and do is actually sign one of these guys. I'm going to go for Brazilian Ronaldo. We're going to see what it's like to sign an icon in career mode. Obviously, they're free agents at the moment, so it's not going to cost me anything in terms of transfer market. But in terms of the wages, I'm expecting it to be pretty high. Obviously, he's going to get a crucial role at the club, and he's happy with that. So he wants how long? We don't know. So we'll just give him a nice five-year deal since he is 25 years old in the game. He wants to discuss his wages. Given the quality of the contract, we believe he deserves to be on 380000 weekly. We would require... A signing bonus of three and a half million. Why was there a Ludzio badge on the suit? Why is that? Why is that dead? Look at this. He's just joined and apparently he's unhappy because the management is poor. Well, you should have figured that one out before you actually came to the club, buddy. So we have reached the end of the January transfer window. Let's see if anyone has joined up with any clubs. It's a bit weird how they haven't signed any of these guys on a free transfer. Oh yeah, actually one of them went. Is that is that an icon here? I think so. Yeah, actually one of them went to Bayern Munich. All right, fair enough. We're starting to see some movement. Finally, the first icon that I've actually spotted. 
that actually went to a transfer. So everything looks normal in the Premier League except one team. Sheffield United has become a five-star team. 94 attack, 95 midfield, 93 defence. We are going to put this team through its paces. A team full of icons in career mode. And uh, look, there's too many good players to choose from. I don't even know who to play. You know you've got a good team when Maradona and Ronaldinho are on the bench already. And I haven't even like changed any players yet. So obviously I'm going to put on Rion, one of my favourite players. Ronaldo, Brazilian one's going to stay. Pele, oh my goodness, there's too many good players. Zidane, Mateus. I have to put in Maradona, obviously. Ronaldinho on the left. Man, there's no good formation that can get every good player in. I might have to put four at the back instead of five. I'll play around with this and see what happens. All right, so what we're going to do is put this uh, Sheffield United team through its paces with all the icons. I want to see what happens in Karimo. Do I get offers for the players? Do they go and complain? You know, do they win the, the league or something like that? So there's going to be a few things I want to try out with this team. So let's just start simming and see what happens. All right, so let's see how we go with this sim game against Bournemouth. Nine minutes in, Maradona's already scored. And it looks like it's finished. So we won 1-0. I was expecting more goals there. So we'll continue simming. Let's see if anyone wants to sign any of our players. No one. No one, no one has put any offers in. Let's put some players on the transfer list. We'll put some on the loan list as well, just to see if we're going to get any offers. I just want someone to come in with an offer, please. Second game against Crystal Palace. Let's see how we go. And it looks like a 2-0 victory. Ronaldinho and Henri score. Maldini cops a red card. So the third game of the season, 4-1 victory against Leicester. Maradona, two goals. Ronaldinho, one blank with a goal as well. It's so cool to see them doing like post-match interviews with the real face and that. Does anyone want to sign our players? No one has come in with an offer. We're going to have an EFL Cup game against Grimsby. Surely we should win like 10-0 with this squad. Surely. How did we lose? What? How does a team full of icons, 92, 94 overall players, lose to Grimsby? That just shows you, man, that there is scripting in these sim games, man. When you're the away team in a cup game, forget it. You're always going to lose. Look at that. Somehow we've lost to Grimsby. Well, we're going through deadline day and uh, no one has put any offers in for our players. I've got a few on loan. I've got a few on the transfer list. No one cares. They don't want to buy any of our players despite being some of the best players in career mode. There we go. Maradona picks up player of the month award. That is pretty cool. Well, you know the drill. I'm going to simulate to the end of the season. Let's see the results we get with this team. And hopefully no one goes in January as well. Let's see the results. All right, so it is the moment of truth. We've reached the end of the season. How did we go? Let's take a look here. Sheffield United on top, 96 points. Oh, you just knew it had to happen. Sheffield United on top, look at that. 30 wins, 2 losses, 6 draws, 89 goals, 4, 19 against. Wow. I mean, there was no doubt we we're going to win. Thierry Henry finished with the top scorers award, 21 goals in 35 games. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Obviously, we're going to qualify for the Champions League now for the next season. So let's load up season 2 and let's see what happens. You know what's funny? I think that's Cannavaro. <laughs> is that Cannavaro playing for Italy? I swear it is. Yeah, it is. Italy confirmed Cannavaro out for seven days. Wow, Cannavaro turning back the clock, man. Playing for Italy again after retiring. Oh my goodness. Imagine Italian, the Italian team with Maldini, Cannavaro. Oh my goodness, Zembrotta. Uh, who else was up top? I can't remember. But Pelé grabs May Player of the Month award. That is absolutely insane. Brazil and United States are through to Group C. Look at the Brazilian team. It's all the icons. Pelé, Ronaldo. I don't know the other guy, but he's obviously an icon. I forgot his name. At least I didn't get sacked. I mean, it would have been weird if I got sacked with Sheffield United. We actually have some transfer offers coming in in Season 2. Let's see what they want to sign. They want to sign Schmeichel for 93.2 million. Who wants to buy him? Chelsea. Transfer offer for Roberto Carlos. Everyone is trying to snap up these players. Man, you should have got them when they were free transfers. All right, so for my final test, I'm just going to simulate the end of this season because obviously we should have Champions League. I don't even know. It hasn't come up yet. Hopefully we do have Champions League. If we make the final, I might play it, but we'll see what happens. So I've simulated the season and it turns out we have made the Champions League final against Piemonte Culture. Let's take a quick look at the table here for Season 2. Did we win the Premier League? I'm pretty sure we did. And it turns out we did by one point. So Season 1, we won by like 20-something points, but... In Season 2, we won by one point. So what was the difference? Maybe an extra draw or something in there? So it's time for the Champions League final against Piemonte Calcio. And I hate their kits. They're very ugly. But anyway, let's uh, quickly fix up these settings here. Four minutes. We'll do ultimate difficulty. And it should be a nice night with the icons. Look at the team. Very, very stacked team. Maradona, 98 overall. 
Pele 98 as well. Did dynamic potential kick in? Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. So Sheffield United make it to a Champions League final. But look at the team they've got as well, man. It's, it's to no one's surprise. But anyway, let's see how we go against these uh, these Piemonte boys. Maybe they, they bought some of our players. Socrates is actually playing for them. Hernandez. It looks like they've bought... They must have bought like all the all the free agent icons that I couldn't fit in Sheffield's team. They've got Zambrota. They've got Komen, Hierro. Kaká's playing as well. You can see the, the line up there. That's pretty cool, man. Komen versus Ronaldo. You know Ronaldo's coming out on top there. Brazilian Ronaldo with the shot. What a goal. What a finish, man. Here's Bailey. Gets past one. Berta Carlos is coming across. Skips past the second guy. Oh, no. Kaká scores and it's one all. Maldinho passes it in. Someone's made a run. What a pass. Brazilian Ronaldo. Here we go. Left foot. Rebound. And it's a goal. Too easy. So with a few minutes left, hopefully we do secure the, the, the win here. It's not over yet, actually. Here we go. We need to intercept that. What a goal. What a goal, man. I knew it wasn't over. I was about to close the video off, and now I've got to play extra time. Look at that. Look at that. Maradona's got no chance, and it's a goal again for Hernandez. Unbelievable. This was not supposed to go this way. I mean, I didn't expect Piemonte to be this good, but look at the icons. It's the icons that have made the difference today. As they score another goal, it's been the icons. I didn't expect them to sign icons, but they did. Chip over the top. All right, we could get a goal back here. The phenomenal one who's on a hat-trick. Well, he grabs his hat-trick. All right, Brazilian Ronaldo had a good game. It wasn't meant to go like this, but I didn't expect Piemonte to have so many icons as well. And they were the only ones that scored for him. But we relied on Brazilian Ronaldo too much. Didn't work out for us. And we ended up losing there. So Piemonte, obviously a very overpowered squad too. So there is one more thing I want to test out. And that is, can these icons become managers themselves? So you know the drill. We're going to start a new player career. We need to find one icon and then convert him. So we'll pick Ronaldinho. It actually looks like it is possible. This is going to be sick. Let's advance that. And then we'll retire him. We'll put him in um, normal manager mode. Bro, this is sick. Look how many teams you can manage with Ronaldinho. You can, you can manage the top teams like Manchester United, Liverpool, Arsenal. Like, they don't give you those low clubs. Wow. This is sick. I'm going to have to pick United, man. This is sick. Man, the possibilities are endless with this stuff. Ronaldinho ready to go. Coaching the club. Look at that. He's even got his real face. This is so cool. But it has been a joy to use these icons one more time. If you did enjoy the video, let me know. And uh, special thanks to Fifer for sending me this squad mod as well. And uh, yeah, if you need something else to watch, make sure you hit the card in the middle. It'll take you to another video. I'll see you next time.